Hey, Yielding Oracle family. I just came to say hi and tell you that I love you. Give you the big heart. Well, today I want to talk about the quad numbers that you may see. Some people actually see more than three. three numbers. So what we're going to do is go over those. And then what I'm going to talk, talk about deliverance. Um, they have a lot of people spooked out. Some people say they don't believe in it. And it's pretty good. You know, depending on what your background is, you understand it if that's what you came from. Okay. So we're going to go through 0000, zero, zero, zero letting go of old energies, think and become a better you. Okay. The next one is 1111. Prayers answered. Your thoughts create dreams instantly. 11. Okay. Then there's two, 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 two. I saw this a lot. Hope, faith, <laughs> hope, faith, covenant between spirit and natural. There's a spirit world, and then there's a natural world. In the spirit world, we want to serve God. That's the only one I want to serve. I'm not serving anything else or anyone else. Three, 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 three. Joy, optimism, enthusiasm. Three, 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 three. Okay. Four, 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 four. Be rooted in gratitude, resilience, strength, and stable foundation. Four, 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 four. Five, 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 five. Major transformation is coming. Embrace opportunities and challenges that come with it. Don't be afraid to do what you need to do. Six, 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 six. Nurture all relationships, friends, loved ones, and your boo. Could be pets. All right, seven, 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 seven. Perseverance, wisdom, motivation. Step out of your comfort zone. New beginnings. Seven, 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 seven. Okay, eight, 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 eight. Spiritual abundance, financial success. It's eight, 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 eight. Nine, nine, nine. nine. Completion or fulfillment of your destiny. Okay, so. Let's talk about the movie, The Deliverance. First of all, what I noticed, there was a, an abuse in the generation that was a curse to the family. The grandmother was abusive to the daughter. As a result, the parent, she was a, which was the daughter, was abusive to the children. Magnified as the grandparent and the parent got older. But the one thing about the parent, she was very bold in spirit. Now, as you know, those are generational curses, but then also families have generational blessings. And what the parent was doing was she was passing down that spirit to her family. Okay, i.e. she slapped a little boy in the mouth. It was a lot of just rough living. And a lot of it may have had to do with them being impoverished. I don't know. But the mother was letting people abuse her and all like that when she was younger. The home was built possibly on some burial ground centuries ago. It could have been rituals done there where that house was. It could have been a place of slavery or misery. It could have been a portal for evil, which is an opening. I'm not saying it was, but something was definitely there. And they said after they tore the house down, it, the property is still just evil. Practices of witchcraft um, invaded the home and evil deeds done in that home on that property. Okay. The mother, who was the chosen one, had the power to deliver the other and, and deliver the family. And um, the other lady admitted she wasn't spiritually equipped, which meant she didn't really have the faith. She was an apostle. So she led the lady as far as she could lead her. And then at one point, she just couldn't lead her anymore. Um, you got to break generational curses off of your family. It could be alcohol. It could be abuse of all types, prostitution, essay, whatever it is. You got to be the one to do that. That's the chosen one in the family. And then they were dealing with what was called spiritual warfare, meaning that since they were not serving the Lord, they were battling spirits, they were battling demons, they were battling evil, and they weren't doing a good job because you need the Lord Jesus Christ to battle those spirits. That's just my assessment of the movie. I thought it was good because I came up in a background of deliverance. I'll talk about it in my other videos, but to me... I enjoyed it. I was sorry to see the babies like they were, but at the end when they were set free, that was a joy because to be bound by any spirit is just so miserable. And I have lived that lifestyle where I had been abused and bound and um, 
didn't know if I would ever be free. I was um, in the Lord, going to church. At that point, I considered myself religious, but as I got older, I considered myself more spiritual when I had to walk away and isolate and be with God and God minister to me and tell me what to do, how to live. And how you start that is at 11 years old, I asked the Lord Jesus to come into my life and save me. My sister and I would go through the neighborhood and give out um, salvation tracts. I had one left. And that morning when I got up, I just had to wait on my shoulders. I had been harmed in school like two or three times by different people physically abused and then mentally abused and it made me feel like I didn't want it anymore so I have found that flyer about accepting God into your life and it's just this simple if you feel like you need the Lord in your life follow this prayer with me Lord in the name of Jesus I believe that you died on the cross for me I believe that you rose again and I believe that you are for me Lord I believe in the baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I believe that the word of God is right and is right for me. I'm asking you to come into my life. And if you are a person that um, needs to be like uh, born again, again, sometimes we need to be reset. Ask the Lord to come back into your life if you walked away from him and help you to run because we are living in a day where people are just hopeless. They feel like they have no hope and that's where they're taking our whole families. And it's just really, really sad to see that. And right now, today, people are just, I know what it feel like to financially be in a rut and wait and wait and wait until you don't feel like nothing's coming that's going to relieve you. And then when the Lord come, a lot of times he come after he has taught you how to live and handle finances so that when he give you those blessings, you don't run through it and be foolish with it and have nothing. So I understand about a lot of situations in life. I've had to, like I say, raise children that weren't mine. I had a lot of things. I didn't mind it, but it was a lot of work. A lot of times spirits enter too when people are on drugs. That's another time people see spirits. Not everyone, but majority. Okay, because you are out of your element. They call alcohol spirits. Because why? Spirits take over people when they're under the influence. It's a form of what the Bible calls sorcery. All right? So today, let's start a new day and a new walk in God, and let's keep going, shall we? I love you so much. We are healing oracles for the Lord, sending you hearts of love. This is a blanket that I actually made for a baby boy. He's about four, and what I do is I pray over these that God bless that child and direct and lead him. He's a king in the Lord, and that he stay blessed and protected in Jesus. Amen. I love you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.